Welcome back to a new Anno 1800 episode. We're back with our stamp series. Don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you've missed any of the previous ones. I showed you, for example, how to use stamps first and foremost. I've also already done episode covering the farmers, the workers, and many different artisan productions. And today we continue with artisan production with two big ones. On one side, the sewing machine, on the other, the fur coat. And obviously, as always, we're gonna cover everything that's needed for it with some layouts that are for the early game, but also some very late game ones. All of those stamps are available for free on my Discord community. You can find the link to join it in the video description below. But if you do want to support the channel, for example, to help me get more games to show you, to get a better microphone, or just you want some of the benefits, like a private Discord channel, exclusive voting power on the next game and series on the channel, or many other, like all of my game saves and much more, don't hesitate to check on the Patreon page. Huge thanks to those that have already subscribed, for example, David and Christoph. But without further ado, let's dive into 10 perfect layout. First one is gonna be just the basic swing machine. With this layout, you'll be able to make four swing machines per minute, and you basically have everything already on site. You have a perfect production of steel on site, perfect production of coal on site, and perfect production of wood on site. The only thing you're missing is iron which means you need one iron deposit because, you know, this is 15 seconds. So basically what you may want to do is just put this next to a mine like this and now you're golden. You have everything at once. So let me show you. We have two of those sewing machines. They're going to take the steel and the wood. For the wood, that's easy. We only have one lumberjack hut. This is 15 seconds. That works. And for the steel, we have two of those furnaces over here. They're going to take the iron that's coming from the mine over here and some coal. If you have access to coal mines, you know, you can also use that, of course, but if you don't, or if you prefer to not use them, then you can have two of those charcoal clean over there. So this works perfectly without changing any of the working conditions or things like this. And on top of it, we have, you know, one police station and one fire station, and all of this in a very compact layout. So it's basic, but works really well. Now let's do the same for the fur coat production, right? Again, a pretty simple, nothing special about it. It's not a perfect rectangle, but still quite well organized. And with this, you will also produce four, but this time of fur coats with all of the fur needed already on site. You don't have the cotton on site because this is coming from the new world, but stay tuned because I'm going to show you some layouts where you can go away with that and do all in the old world. So again, a pretty simple one, you know, with two fur dealers, a warehouse, a police station, fire station in the middle, and then we have four of these hunting cabin on the side because it's similar to your lumberjack huts and things like this where you have a radius, right? So you, you need to have space to plant those trees. Okay, so as I said, that was pretty basic, right? So let's move into some interesting ones. First over here, we have a trade union that's going to get this fur production a bit more advanced. We have over here a trade union in the middle that is covering both all of those fur dealers, right, for the fur coats, but it is also covering all of these over here, all of these hunting cabins. So you can put items that are going to help with both, right? Right now, it's definitely not perfect. You know, for example, you're only producing six of the fur, but if you were to start increasing the working condition, maybe have some good items, you could produce enough fur you know, to match your fur coats, and then you have a good production, which this time still require cottons. And then you put, you know, the warehouses and police station, fire station on the outside because you want to make sure to keep, you know, this range over here clear to have 100% available areas for your hunting cabins. So yes, this is definitely not a perfect one, but I still wanted to show you, you know, you can start doing something like this if you want a bit more. And in particular, if you have a couple of good items, but not too much influence. Now let's continue with the fur dealers and move to a dedicated trade union. You know, if you want to put as many as possible, this is it. I see that I'm missing two rods over here. Don't forget them when you place it. But apart from that, you know, this is working. We are talking about 33 fur dealers. So without any working conditions or items, we're already at 66. So you can quickly get to 100 easy with something like this. Not too sure why you would need so much, but if you do, you have it. I've also put, you know, police station, fire station, warehouses, because you're definitely going to need them over here. But obviously, if you want this to work, you're going to need a lot of fur, right? And this is where I've realized that I put the fur in the wrong folder. I've put it in the steel on weapon. That's not good. I'll move it just after this video. But don't worry, I will definitely share it with you all. 
on the Discord community as always. So here it is, this is the first one. As always, we have the trading in the middle and then as much as possible inside the radius. And then you put all of your warehouses on the outside. Similarly, if you want to put you know, fire station, police station, etc., you'll put them on the outside because you want to make sure that there's not too many things in this range. Now, obviously, if you don't have any items, this thing is not going to work well because all of these, as you can see, you know, 34% cultivation area this one is probably even less like zero percent so that's not gonna work you're gonna need some items and it's the same items that i showed you in the past you know the tectonic technical secateur the druid sickle the industrial thresher if you put those ones you know this will increase the forest density and with that you're gonna be perfect so yes i guess the thumbnail was wrong you know it's not 10 perfect layout it's 11 but now as i said let's move into something really interesting how can you make it completely in the old world Let's say, for example, you're at war and it's very difficult to transport resources to the new world. Well, I got you with two advanced layouts. The first one is this one over here. You can see we have a couple of different production. We still have our hunting cabins, right? We have a couple of them. They're actually not really in range of the trade union, but don't worry, that's fine. What is important is that we have the fur dealers that are in range and we're going to have a couple of other buildings. Now we do need to put in an item. For this to work, we're gonna put the costume designer. As you can see, she's gonna do two things. The first one is instead of using, you know, the usual workforce with the artisan into those fur dealers, this is going to use workers. So it's a bit easier. But most importantly, instead of cotton fabric, this is going to use wool, which is why we have over here some sheep farms. We actually only have two because they have a silo. Now for a silo, we need wheat, which is why we have over here a grain farm. This is 140 instead of 144. You could, if you want, add a few more. You know, I could add four like this if I wanted. It's not going to change anything because we are making enough. You know, the important thing is we're making way too much. So basically, as you can see, we're set up right now, even without any other item, to make already 10 per minute of fur with basically you know fur you know you can increase slightly the working condition and you'll be fine and already enough of wool so all of this you know is self-efficient you don't need anything else you already have everything that you need in this one stamp we also by the way have a fire station and a police station over here two of those small warehouses to make sure that it works now if you start putting other items you may not be at equilibrium anymore but remember, you can also change the working conditions, right? And you can also always add a couple more of these. For example, over here, you know, I could add a few more. or You can have a few more over there. But basically, I'm really proud that with this one, you're already making everything. With this, you don't need the new world anymore. So what do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. But as I said, this is not the only one. I have a second one to show you. As you can see, this second one is slightly different. We actually have a perfect rectangle. Love it. Looks pretty good. Those brick walls, remember, are coming from Bright Harvest. If you don't have that DLC, don't worry. You can still use it. But yeah, we have a lot of things in this trade union. We have a lot of those fur dealers. We also have a lot of sheep farms all into this trade union. There are grain farms that are not inside, but you'll see it's not a problem at all. And we don't have fur. So obviously, if you don't put any items, you're going to have a big problem. Because yes, you're producing a lot of wool, but you're not using it because you need, you know, the fur and the cotton fabric. Now, obviously, if I put the first item, which is my costume designer, once again, I already have a great advantage, which is now the cotton has disappeared and is replaced by the wool. Without any items or working condition, I can already be producing 40, you know, I have enough of wool as long as I produce 40 of fur which could come from this layout that I showed you before, right? Or it could actually come from something else because instead of the costume designer, maybe you have access to the master craftsman. With this one, you will also change the cotton fabric to wool, but you will also change the fur to iron. But then as long as you have enough iron mines or bringing iron, then you'll be able to make all of this there. You won't even need those hunting cabins anymore. Now, I am producing way too much grain for what is needed. It is for two reasons. Obviously, I did that to make this a perfect rectangle, but also for two other reasons. If you start putting items that are going to increase your sheep farms, then you will need more of this grain too. And the other reason is this way, what you can do is you can actually decrease the working condition on the grain farms, which will give you 
happiness. And in exchange, you know, you can increase the working condition for the sheep farm. Right, so it will balance this way. So this is really the ultimate layout, you know, really love it. I hope you do too. But that was just for the third dealers. Remember at the beginning, we started with sewing machine. So let's go back to the sewing machine. Here is the perfect dedicated trade union for sewing machine with a perfect rectangle. You know, we have a lot of warehouses on the corners, fire station, police station, and in the middle, of course, a lot of the sewing machine factories that are covered by our trade union. We are actually talking about 16 different factories. They are quite big, so you can't make a lot more. But this is already 32 per minute, which is definitely a lot, I can guarantee you. And this is without working condition or items, right? So you can get a lot higher. But to do that, you're going to need a lot of wood and a lot of steel. Luckily, these are resources we've seen in the past, so hopefully you'll re you remember. But if not, let me show you. This is, for example, you know, the trade union for wood. With that, we can get a lot of wood. As long as you put once again those three items over here, you will be totally fine. This one will run at 100%. Similarly, for the steel I showed you in the past, you know, you can have a dedicated trade union with tons of steel. We're talking over here of 58. So, you know, that's definitely enough. And for the steel, you're going to need the iron and the coal. Similarly, for the coal, I showed you this one in the past, where once again, you need those three items. To make sure that over here you know you have a 100 percent available area but with this you are golden so here it is ladies and gents sewing machine and fur coat hopefully they don't have any secret left for you you have some layouts that you're ready to use don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any questions thoughts also if there are a layout that you've been using that i didn't show i'd love to hear i'd love also to see it in my discord community you know don't hesitate to share them and if you want to see more gameplay of anno remember that we also have many series of gameplay in particular we are towards the end of a extreme military series with tons of crazy modes that are bringing like submarines and aircraft carriers but even after that one don't worry we'll start another one thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time